this video we're going to demonstrate the flexibility of our polyester rods and tubes and our carbon fibre rods and tubes. We get quite a lot of questions about our polyester rods and carbon rods. The main question is, is how flexible they are. When given this information over the phone it's quite difficult to kind of explain this. So we thought we'd put this video together so you'd actually see firsthand how flexible they are. First of all, we're going to start off with the polyester rods. <clears throat> the smallest in our range is the 1.5 mil diameter. As you can see, it's quite flexible. It's got more of a kind of a, a wiry feel to it. And if you were to bend this, it can go down to a 12 centimeter diameter. It'll also support its own weight. up to about 45 centimeters. You can see I've just created a loop there. It's actually self supporting The next one in the range is the 2 mil diameter. There's not much difference between this one and the 1.5 in flexibility. As you can see, it's again, it's, it's quite wiry. And that one will comfortably go down to a 15 centimeter diameter. Now, these rods will probably go just slightly further, but I'm just going to de demonstrate how far they'll bend just comfortably without putting any too much stress on it or having them shatter or crack. So as I say that one's a 2mm diameter and it goes down to a 15cm diameter on the curve. Again it's quite self supporting. You can actually take this to about 50cm on this one. And you can see it will quite comfortably support itself on a circle. Next one up is the 3 mil diameter. And that will comfortably bend to a 30 centimeter diameter on a curve. As it's thicker than the other two, it is a lot stronger. <clears throat> and as you can see, I've created more towards a 60 centimeter loop with that, although I, I do feel we could go further with that one. Next one up is the 4 mil diameter rod. That will comfortably bend to a 50 centimeter diameter. This is only a 2 meter length, but just to give you an idea, it will self support itself at about 90 centimeter diameter. Next in the range is the 5 mil diameter. There's not a lot of difference in resistance between this one and the 4 mil. Again that one could go down to 50 centimeters. And again it's quite self-supporting. You can actually go up to about a meter on that one in diameter if you were creating a circle. Uh, again, this is a 2 meter length, so I reckon at about 4, four meters you'd probably get about a meter wide circle. Okay, now we're getting into the range where the rods give you a lot more strength rather than flexibility. This one is a 6 mil diameter. It's still flexible. Uh, to give you an idea of uh, how strong it is, uh, these 6 mil rods, along with the 5 mils, are, tend to be used on pop-up tents, that sort of thing. So there's a little bit more resistance, it's a little bit more springier. But you can bend that down to a 70mm diameter. Now we're at the 8mm rod, and there's a lot more resistance on that. So it's starting to get a little bit more difficult to bend. That one would go to about a metre wide diameter. Okay, now we're on to the 10 mil diameter. There's not a lot of difference in flexibility between this and the 8 mil. Again, that one will comfortably bend down to a meter wide diameter. The last one I'm going to show you is the 12 mil. This is a quite a popular one for things like uh, golf flags. Anything where you need something rigid 
Now you can stake into the ground. And you can see why, because there's not much bend at all. So I can't really actually show you what kind of radius that will actually bend down to. So that's our main range of polyester rods. The ones I've showed you are all in white, but we do have them available in black. If there are any sizes that we don't stock, please give us a call. We can always check with the supplier to see if we can get hold of them, although there may be a minimum order quantity. Also in our range we have polyester tubes. We have four sizes in stock. We have a black 6mm diameter tube with a 3mm inside diameter. Now these are still quite flexible. The advantage of being in a tube form is that they're a lot lighter, but it does re reduce the strength a lot compared to polyester rods. Now the 6mm in the tube will create quite comfortably an 85 centimeter curve and also support its own weight. Anything further than that, you do risk damaging the tube. Next in the range of tubes is the white 8mm diameter tube with a 5mm inside diameter. That one will comfortably bend to a metre wide diameter on a curve. We have two more in the range but now they've become a bit more rigid because of the diameter. So I'm not going to try and bend these ones, they'll be more for applications where you need a bit more support over a long length. So the next one up is the 12.7 with the 8.5mm inside diameter. As you can see it's quite rigid, there is a little bit of give in there and flexibility, but not really enough to create a, create a loop that I can actually demonstrate in the video. And the last one in the tube range is the 25.4mm outside diameter with the 19.4mm inside diameter. And as you can see, I would probably describe that more of a, of a kind of a pull really, because there's not any flex in it at all. So again, that will be used more for support. Next up, I'm going to show you our range of carbon rods and tubes. The carbon fibre rods and tubes have a very high stiffness to weight ratio, are very good for making lightweight frame constructions. Now these are most commonly used in things like remote control models. First in the range is the 2mm carbon rod. As you can see, it's really quite flexible. You can actually bend that quite easily. Although bearing in mind that carbon can shatter if it's stressed too much. We can bend that down to a 22 centimetre diameter. Next one up is the 3mm carbon rod. That will comfortably bend down to a 63 centimetre diameter. And will also support itself at about a metre wide diameter. Next we're moving on to the two tubes we have. The first one being the 6mm diameter with a 3.1mm inside diameter. I'm not going to bend these because these tend to shatter if you do try. Because the carbon has a good stiffness to weight ratio, you'll see at this diameter, it's quite good at supporting its own weight without bending either side. Now I'll compare that with a rod. And if I just hold them on the ends, you'll see that the polyester rod is a lot more flexible. And the carbon tube is a lot stiffer. So that's why the carbon tube is quite good for lightweight frame construction. There's also a, a weight saving to be gained from using carbon. This 2 metre length is 80 grams and the polyester 2 metre length weighs 115 grams. The very last one in our range is the 8 mil carbon tube which has a 4.7 inside diameter. Again, there's not really any flexibility in the tubes. 
which as I mentioned before is great for lightweight frame construction.